Yo, what's up dudes, it's your bro, Eagle Brother, and in this video, we're going to show you guys the easiest and best method to get legendary guns and gear in Borderlands 3, especially in a game where legendaries are very important to have to get you through your playthroughs, to help get even better gear, and help with raids. This is going to be the best route to get a man, so today we're going to be talking about the Schluter Artifact. Of course, we're going to show you guys how to get the Schluter Artifact, and then also at the end of the video, we're going to have some gameplay that just shows the amount of legendary drops that you can get just throughout the your gameplays itself and it's pretty insane man so we're going to start with the stats once you have the schluter equipped it's going to give you a plus 1000 percent legendary drop chance at a 12 second duration now the 12 second duration basically is based off your last kill so if you guys are in a highly populated area you're more likely going to get a kill at least every 12 seconds easily so you can have this running consistently when you're farming areas mobbing where it's going to give you that plus 1000 percent drop chance now one thing to keep in mind this does not work on dedicated drops so if you are farming a particular boss for their loot the schluter isn't going to give you a plus 1000 percent chance for you to get that loot that they drop However, when you're just playing the game, if you're going into particular raids or areas where there's a lot of enemies and mobbing, throw this sucker on, man. It's going to give you a plus 1000% at these legendaries. Now, to get the Schluter, you have to go through the vault cards, particularly the Welcome to Pandora vault card, where you will be able to open up chests that will unlock the Schluter artifact. Now, the Schluter, you don't get at a random drop chance. You can actually get this by opening five keys. And for that, you have to have chests available for those keys. So basically, you have to have open available chests. I have 29 currently. And to get these chests, you have to do daily challenges. So this isn't something that you're going to be farming for. You have to complete the daily challenges. And then when you get five keys from these chests, then you can unlock the Schluter. So we're going to open up a couple chests together here. We're going to see how many keys we get. And, of course, I already have the Schluter, but hopefully we can get five keys in a second. Alright, so there's one key already, and I feel like the keys are pretty frequent. We got three keys right there, so I'm guessing maybe this one will give us... Okay, gives us some Iridium there. Uh, but you guys can see, you're not just getting one key at a time. It's going to be a random loot. But, again, we're particularly look looking for the keys. And you can see there we have five keys already. And we opened, what, five chests. Not saying you guys are going to get them in, all in five chests or anything like that. It's completely randomized. However, it is pretty easy to get. And once you have the five keys, then you can unlock the Schluter artifact at the top. And as I mentioned, you guys have to have this equipped. And I'm going to scroll to another one. You can see that there's an activate vault card button down in the bottom right. You need to make sure that your Pandora card is the one that is active. And that's going to be where you can use the keys to get that Schluter. So you're not going to farm for this thing. You're basically just going to continue to complete your daily challenges. Try to get those chests up. And then once you have your chests, of course, go for those five keys. And then you can unlock the Schluter. So it is pretty easy. You do not have to go to Pandora, the planet itself, to complete these challenges. You could complete them anywhere in the map in the game just as long as you have it active. So keep that in mind. I know I already said it again, but make sure that when you go to your Welcome to Pandora, if you see activate vault card in the bottom right, activate it on the Welcome to Pandora vault card. So there it is, man. There's how to get the Schluter. If you have any questions on that, let me know in the comments below. And of course, let's show you guys what this thing could do in action. We're going to go to the Slaughter Star 3000 and see how many legendaries we could get. So now that you guys know how to get the Schluter artifact, let's go ahead and let's go jump ahead, into the Slaughter Star 3000. I know. I don't know why I do this to myself, man, but we're going to bust through this pretty decent. We're just going to show you guys what this can do when it comes to uh, just absolute insane legendary drops. We are Mayhem 11. I feel like when we do get these legendaries, it's primarily Primarily like these, uh, like the badass enemies that drop them. I mean, of course, you do see them come from just like typical like basher commandos and stuff here and there. But it really isn't until we get into like the later part of the rounds to where you guys will start seeing just an absolutely insane amount of freaking legendaries. Keep your eye open for this the green mist or like smoke, I guess, kind of on the outside. Uh, the right and left side of the screen because that's where it'll show you that the artifact is active So just as long as you get a kill every 12 seconds at the very latest you're good So I mean, I know that like doesn't stack or anything, but just keep that in mind And as I mentioned like this isn't gonna work for um, Got some more from this badass got two back to back 
Uh, this doesn't work for dedicated drops. It doesn't give you like a thousand percent increase in uh, dedicated drop rates just for world drops, but still obviously like this game is so legendary heavy that world drops are uh, are gonna be very frequent for you guys. For me, like as a player, if you guys haven't seen like my legendary series, obviously like I'd prefer to have a dedicated source to farm for, for these guns. Uh, but if you guys are just like playing around and you know, maybe you're in like, I don't know, just play, uh, going through the, the playthroughs or running through a raid or something like, throw this sucker on man and you'll be getting legendaries for days. Dude, I even recall this artifact like being uh even higher than a thousand at one point i think when it first rolled out it actually took a pretty big nerf um i think it was like a plus ten thousand when it first rolled out now i could be wrong on that uh but it was a ridiculous rate <laughs> so you guys were getting a lot more legendaries than than we would get now but it's still gonna be uh, a lot so we got through our first round and obviously like there aren't as many as we're about to see so uh you guys are gonna about to notice a bunch more legendaries show up in these next couple rounds but typically like yeah obviously it, it helps a lot when it comes to just like these these commandos and stuff but these dudes aren't gonna be the ones that are gonna be dropping them that much it's gonna be your badass enemies your heavyweights like these dudes like this is gonna be where you'll find a lot of your legendaries from um so just keep that in mind like you guys are going in an area where there aren't that many like badass enemies you probably won't see as many as of course if you were to go into an area where there are also the rowan's call man i don't know why but it just rains supreme for me bro like i know it, it depends on play style and like there's a lot of weapons out there that you can use but for me dude just the rowan's call feels so good always plus you know you're getting that ammo regen like oh, if you hit crits and with flak especially with like fadeaway dude when you're hitting non-stop crits it's you're never gonna run out of ammo dude you can just shoot for days just as long as you're hitting your crit spots man that's all just absolutely melting man just insane oh Dude, so far it's like the badass commandos that are primarily the ones that are like dropping this stuff breath of the dying that's a good one man so far what do we have like five six legendaries on the ground right now so uh and what we're in <laughs> round two <laughs> by the end of this man i won't pick up any trust me i won't pick up any legendaries but i'll show you guys like what the end results looking like and show you just the absolute insanity that you guys are about to see on the ground Dude, are they fighting each other? What? Holy crap, dude. Oh my god. Dude, just absolute mayhem, bro. <laughs> dude, absolute mayhem out here, man. In the Slaughter Star. Love it, love it. Holy crap, dude. Hey, vault card leveled up, man. Alright, so after round two, man, I mean, look at the ground already, dude. I don't even know how many that is, but it is over 10 so far. I have seen this being a really easy way to also get uh, Rowan's calls as well. So if you guys are looking for a Rowan's call, using the Schluter is probably the best way to do it and just try to get it as a world drop because you can farm for it. Uh, at the end of the Slaughter yes. Star, which one is a pain to even get to, and two, the dude doesn't, like, throw the Rowan's Call on the ground, it throws it off the map that you can't get, uh, even with the Lost Loot Machine, so if you guys are looking for Rowan's Calls, bro, probably the route to go, man. We're not busy. Oh, holy crap. That just melted everyone in the vicinity. The Shinobi. Nob. Nub. Nog. <laughs> Nob. There we go. Keep them coming, man. Keep the legendaries coming, bro. Ooh, baby make a Borderlands 2. Classic. A classic Borderlands 2 SMG. Even though it's a pistol in this game, I believe. I don't know if I 
am 100% correct on that, but I believe it's a pistol. Can confirm the baby maker's a pistol. Throw a couple. Let's throw some grenades. I don't even use any grenades this whole freaking run so far. Let's just get some grenades cooking, huh? Why not? Yeah, just melt them. Melt them. Dude, Torg's like top three greatest characters in Borderlands history. As far as dialogue, bro, hilarious, man. Come on. All right, round three's complete, bro. And already, like it's a freaking loot fest. It's like a, it's like a loot drop. You know, like someone just came in and dropped all these for us, right? I really hope that Borderlands Four brings back the Borderlands Two style uh, legendary drop rate slash farming because you know when you play that game obviously and, and, and you know i'm actually curious what you guys think i know i've seen a lot of mixed reviews on this but i feel like the majority of the community prefers to have a loot drop just like borderlands 2 i mean obviously it's basically like the perfect <laughs> looting system when it comes to that so i feel like uh most people are on board with that oh god that sucks and let me know like what what you guys think about that because honestly like the loot the loot system in borderlands 4 like this already is too much like look at the, if you just look at the ground already i mean we're only we're three rounds in and you just look at the map and there's just freaking legendaries all over the place but when you're you know if borderlands 2 obviously like getting two at once is very rare <laughs> so that's what i'm looking for that's exactly like what i want to see what you drop us bro dropped us uh if i can look at alchemists have i done a guide on the alchemist i don't think i have i have to run that oh my god these freaking barrels Whoa. yeah man anyway going back to like my thought on that i just i just hope that it brings back borderlands 2 style legendary drop rates because they just don't feel as if, as special as they did in borderlands 2 right it's just like it's just another day another day another legendary item right or legendary weapon in like the anointment system i'm i'm not a big fan of to be honest with y'all because at this point then like you're farming the same gun over and over again and like obviously you know having like the perfect parts and stuff is one thing so not only getting the perfect parts but also we just literally got two back-to-back -back legendaries breath of the dying's dropping like crazy but uh the blood uh, but as i was saying like when it comes to that having the, the specific parts is is one thing right like, okay, you could farm for the perfect freaking Rowan's Call or the perfect whatever you're farming for. Um, so I get that. But, like, when you, you introduce anointments, especially because anointments are such, like, a heavy focus that you need a good anointment end game, particularly to make... It, that could really make or break your gun. <laughs> if your anointment sucks, then your gun's not going to be good. Or, if you have a good anointment on a sucky crap gun, then you're gonna dominate, you know? Like, the anointments really do, do, I believe, have a huge effect on the end game guns, especially. Like, obviously, when anointments aren't introduced without mayhem levels, whatever. Like, that's what I'm looking for. But if I farm a gun and I'm like, oh, cool, I got the Rowan's Call, but it has an anointment that just says, I don't know, maybe, maybe it does, like... Amara, it has like an Amara anointment on it or something. I'm not running an Amara. At that point, I'm like, okay, well, this gun's still okay, but it's would be better if I had a flak or something like that. So, I don't know. To me, anointments need to go. Watch, this absolute decimation coming up, man. This destruction. Holy crap. Adios. At the end of round four, we have. I'm gonna go down. I'm gonna go around and I'm, I'm gonna count how many legendaries are on the ground right now. So we have 15 legendaries on the ground right now. And I don't know how long we've been at this for. Maybe like 15 minutes or so, ish. So we, uh, yeah, our legendary drop rate is insane. <laughs> 15 legendaries, and we are only round four. Obviously, round five is gonna get a lot more hectic, and there's gonna be a lot more chances for legendaries. So obviously, like when we're done with this round. And, it, and complete it, then I will go around and count them all for us. Just to see how many legendaries we get. And I died. 
not died, but you know, we put ourselves down. But we could pick ourselves up. Also, I know I've, I've said this a few times, like in some videos, but if you guys want to uh, to go join the Discord, man, it's actually looking pretty good, dude. We're gonna be doing a giveaway at 100 members, so I, think, I mean, obviously we just started, so we're, we're low for now. But the more we get, the, the closer we get for giveaways. I'll probably end up doing like a game, like a Borderlands game of your choice or something like that. I don't know yet. I might even do something special too, so we'll see. But at 100 members, we'll be doing a giveaway. So go click on the link and join the Discord, man. A lot of cool stuff. Help, Helping with co-op, playing together, duping. Just an overall good vibe is, is really what my main goal with that is. We also might be doing a little bit of streaming soon as well. Uh, just got to figure out a couple things. Don't know, like, how I want to start that. But I, uh, well, let's just melt these dudes. Tizzy. Bring it back. Dude, the Tizzy's so good, man. Like, look at that, dude. Just, there's no chance. You know what I'm saying? Like, absolutely no chance for these dudes. Oh, crap. Never mind. I lied. See ya. See ya. See ya. See ya. Oh, amazing. And I know, I know, I could throw, I could take off the Schluter artifact and play and not get as many legendaries. Like, I know, but, I, like, you know, when it comes to legendaries, people want the best guns in the game. So why, why not have it on? You know what I mean? Like, why not use this? Because <laughs> I want the best guns in the game, right? But if they had, if they make it to where you're, you can't get access to the best guns in the game that easily, then it makes the best guns, one, harder to get, and two, more of a reward once you get them, you know what I mean? Bro, at this point, we're literally, like, just shooting through a bunch of legendary. <laughs> just, like, a bunch of gold, man. That's, like, what we're shooting through. Oh, God. Nope, nope. Is that a Ron's call? Might be. Might have got one right there. Let's check. Let's check. Oh, Shred of... Oh, there it is. Yep, I... Freaking do it, man. Ooh, that's a good one, too. When Fadeaway's active. Weapon. Holy crap. Thank you. I'll take that one. Why not? Why not? Is this last dude, like, not in the freaking map? He up here? He's up here, huh? That's kind of annoying. I really hope, uh, that he comes down. Because I know that he, people could glitch up here, dude. Bro. You see what I'm saying? Like, look at the top, man. That comes up. All right, man. Let's see if we can get this dude. <laughs> this sucks, bro. <laughs> Borderlands 3, man. I think you guys kind of get the hint, man. Like, this thing is just absolutely insane. If you guys really want your legendary drop to be increased, then go for the Schluter Artifact. Interesting. Quizar, but it's a... an SMG. But note to self, always have a Quizar grenade or something that will pull the enemy out uh, to... Get them out of there if uh, this happens again before I come into the Slaughter Star because that's kind of annoying. But anyway, guys, uh, you get the gist. If there's any questions, hit me up in the chat. Also, go ahead, join the Discord, man, because, again, we're growing. And at 100 members, we'll be doing a giveaway. But there it was, man. There was the Schluter Artifacts. Sorry we couldn't, like, complete it and give you guys, like, a full... This drops 25 legendaries in the Slaughter Star. But you guys could see it, man. Look at the map. Like, obviously, it's a ridiculous amount over 20 legendaries and we have yet to hit wave five as well if you guys do enjoy the content man be sure to hit the thumbs up sub to the channel if there's anything else you guys want to see any particular legendary guides hit me up below also if there's anything else that you guys want to see whether it's increased legendaries or farming specific bosses let me know as well i got a few things queued up particularly for borderlands 2 content uh, but we are always keeping our eye open for borderlands 3 stuff as well but anyway guys appreciate you for stopping by as always and i will catch you guys in the next video peace